Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Fox Family Farm. This is our third and final week of farm camp for this summer at Fox Farm. And we've got 28 kids coming in this week for cooking specialties and crafts and games and lots of fun. A lot more focus on some of the crafting and cooking this week. And so stay tuned for the video I'll make every day and put together at the end of the week. So again, this is Bill with Fox Family Farm. And thank you for subscribing and we'll see you as we go along through. Have a great day and enjoy the time together. Big swing. Woo. Let's see what's happening down here. Marjorie, are you hiding? Marjorie, the more you hide, the more you get in it. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready for this week's version of Capture the Pig with new teams. And I get to be in the blue team this week. And we're gonna get going here soon. We've got 27 kids total and some staff, so we should have a great event here. And, uh, here we get going. Right after lunch, we have some a little bit of free time, so kids are doing some wiffle ball and infection tag. One of the games that this specific group likes to play a lot. I believe Brady is it. Them. I've you never heard one. of these. Mulberries. You need one? What do you oh, think? There you go. Thanks. Mm -hmm. no, what do you think, guys? It tastes like grass. Oh, it's sour. Mm, it's you sour. get the ones that are totally dark purple. They're like, really yes. sweet. Like, oh, mine was a little Mine's red. Really sour. What one, Benjamin? Oh. Mine was kind of good. I don't like raspberries. They're not raspberries. Like, they, they taste like whatever. Not, they yeah, they taste like, like a raspberry. Mulberries are good. Well, I just I just don't eat them as much because they're kind of sour. <laughs> Hear the bullfrog? The fox. What? Hear the frog? Oh yeah. There it is. There used to be a frog in our tooth. Oh wait, there's just frog there. Yes. We were trying to catch the frog. Oh, it's they're all they're all. I don't think some of those. Well, mine's the biggest. I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think I'm gonna get. Still playing sardines just before camp ends for the day. It's nice and shady on this side of the property. Where is Derek? Oh, you're kind of hard to play like this. At the end of the day, we have popsicles, and it's been a hot summer here in Maine. But he's happy with them during the last couple of minutes before parents come. Welcome back to Fox Family Farm, everybody. This is Bill, ready for a Tuesday, another hot day here. Streak of hot weather, but we're ready to do it with all the kids coming in now on Tuesday. We'll be on animals and cooking and a new slip slide we've made with the tarp. So it should be a fun day to make us beat the heat today. So stay tuned for some more video and fun today.
Just hang on. Time for feeding this morning. Excuse me, Mom. They're gonna try to get it, but they're gonna try to eat it off of you if you don't go in there. Ah! Okay, you, you gotta move quick. Alright, go, go, go. She's gonna go. try to get out. Get in there, get in there. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Now she's gonna. Get out. What do I do? We Just gotta get push her and throw around that way. Alright. <laughs> so, I was gonna tell you about my first trip to. Katahdin. Has anybody ever been to Katahdin? No. Uh, so I think I was maybe 11 years old or so. And I grew up in Western Massachusetts. Mm. Anybody been to Massachusetts? I haven't been to Boston. Well, I, Western Massachusetts have, is all the way over next to New York State. And there were like big hills there. I lived on a pretty beautiful hill. I mean, you looked <laughs> to the west, you could see um, almost into New York. And it was really neat. Yeah? Was it like a hill where you could like fall down? No, but it was it was a big wooded hill with a big field on top of it. So that's that's where I lived, and um, I always wanted to climb mountains. My brother lived in Augusta, Maine, uh, right near their gardener, I guess, and he was a preacher there. And he invited me to come up to Maine with his youth group and go hiking. And I'm I think I'm thinking I was 11 years old, maybe maybe 1976, a long, long, long time ago. Wait. How old were you? So the cool thing about it was I got to ride on a Greyhound bus all by myself. My parents put me on a bus in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. The driver was watching me and I rode all the way to Boston, right into downtown Boston on a Greyhound bus at 11 years old, being watched by somebody on the, on the bus. And I remember that big bus like turning corners. I thought I was going to run over things. It was such a huge bus when you're a kid, you know, and I was like, how did they ever drive this thing in Boston with the roads as narrow and curvy and, and, and hard to get around as they did, but he pulled right into the gas, in the, in the bus stop, and I remember it being like really diesel -y smelling, you ever been at a truck stop and smelled that kind of smell? That's what that was like, like really diesel because there was like dozens of buses there, yeah. One time I flew Wow, that's a different story. <laughs> But I had to switch buses, so I had to get on a totally different bus, and they helped me get on the right bus. And kids don't travel this way very much anymore. But and they put me on the bus to Maine, and so I got on the bus to go to uh, Augusta. And then my brother picked me up there. Okay, he picked me up, and we went with his church youth group to go climb Mount Katahdin. This was in May, like Memorial Day weekend. Can anybody guess how hot it was that weekend? Yeah. If you think it was hot today. It's not. It was 92 or 3 degrees at the bottom of Mount Katahdin. So we camped in the woods, and uh, I don't think I've ever seen as many mosquitoes as I saw there. There were clouds of mosquitoes. There was no safe place to be. What about the tent? In the tent, there was still some, but not as many. But, but it was so hot. I mean, who wants to stick in a, stay in a tent when it's 90 plus degrees out? You don't really like that. I was so. driving in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So this was this was on some campground in, on Route 11 going up into the canyon. So the next day, we get up and we go really early up to the Hunt Trail, and uh, I think it was Hunt Trail, and that's starting um, on the west southwest side of Mount Katahdin. And as we went up, and there's like some steep rocks and stuff. And it's a big all day hike. And Mount Katahdin is a rocky mountain, so when you get above tree line, it's all rocks and open to the sky. And so 
there's a place above the tree line called Thorough Springs. It's like a flat zone with a slightly incline before you go up to Baxter Peak. Guess what was up there? Snow. A big pile of snow. And it was still 70 degrees out up there. And there was still snow on World Day weekend. And so we got in it. <laughs> and we cooled off. And uh, that's a bad yeah, idea. It was, it was so cool. And I did it. I climbed that mountain for the first time in my life. And it's almost a mile high. And it's like five miles up and then back down again. So your legs get tired on the way up, right? Because you're going up and up and up. But you know what your legs feel like when you're going down? It's like your knees want to give out. And you're like, every step you feel like you're weighing twice as much as you did before. Yeah. Why? Um, but it's scary. Yeah. So at the top when you get there, there's a big pier of rocks. Like, I think it's 13 feet high. At the top of that is a mile high. So it's the highest mountain in Maine. But from there, you can see all the way around. See lakes, all the beautiful lakes of Maine. You can see, um, I think you can see the Chesuncook Lakes. You can see Moosehead Lake. You can see way far away in New Hampshire and all the way almost to the ocean. It's such a big view. Can you see? Yeah. I went to Moosehead. You did? Yeah, yeah. I went to Moosehead. I can see that from my from Can you see Wayne? I don't know. I don't think I can see this far because you can't see Mount Katahdin from here. But you can't, can you see Policy um, Lake? No, there's enough hills between. The, the 4,000 foot mountains are between Katahdin and here. And so that all that's over here is cut off from view of that. Yeah. Do you have a question? Are you Yeah. So I think that all of you, is there anybody here that's 11 yet? Probably not in this group. You ought to get into some good hikes because they're all around you here in Maine. And I could not wait to get to Maine Where and do some real stuff. 11? Over my life, I probably climbed Mount Katahdin. Uh, 15 times possibly, but that was the very first time, and the first time was always a pretty, pretty cool story. Yeah. much fun but mountains are pretty neat too. We have both in Maine so that was my first trip to Mount Katahdin. Tell us more stories. I will. I'll look and see what I got to tell. Yeah. You are the flower. I don't have a chocolate. Yeah. No. Just eat it. If you're yep. going to eat it, I'm cutting out chocolate. Eat the whole thing. <laughs> well, you still have some on your lips. Let me know what that. Go back and try again, Miles.
Well, it's Wednesday morning here at Fox Family Farm at our camp this week, and another hot day ahead of us. You can see the blue sky up there. It's gonna be warm, about 87 today. Kids are all checked in, ready to get going again in our game time in the morning. And then we'll do some crafts and some teaching today. And we'll probably do some more in the sprinkler or something to cool off. It's gonna be a warm one, and we're gonna have a lot of fun here at Fox Farm Camp. And we'll get ready to go. Feed the animals, you can hear them all talking a little bit because everybody's hungry in the morning for grain. Stay tuned for some more video today as we get things rolling. getting ready to play capture the pig again this morning but the first game is going to be counselors versus kids and I have a suspicion we're going to get creamed. This is the pig that we capture. We do that on the ends near a post so everybody can see it. It's not too challenging to find it. It's just very challenging to get it back to your own side. And we'll have them right by these posts on each end. There's always a lot of excitement when it's the counselors versus the kids. All right, there's a pig ready to be caught. I see kids lining up right now, ready to take us out. Oh, to be young again. Now's your chance. All of you go together. This is our view from the jail. The kids are having a hard time beating us. would somehow wake up because they heard me just barely and then they would start yelling and jumping out of their pen they knew how to jump out and I was like no um, and then they would pee all over the floor too because they had just woken up and when they pee it's like 
they run around everywhere and do it. It's a mess. They pee while they're walking. Sometimes it's a trail going yeah. everywhere. And they're like, oh no! <laughs> you need to find the sheep, just follow the trail. Yeah. Well, they wanted to follow us because they, they thought that people were their people were their parents, people were their family, because they did not get raised by their mom, sheep. So they wanted to be wherever we were. How much of this do you want to use? Are you going to just cover this section? What right do here? you want? Yeah. So, how about we figure out exactly how much you need and uh, then cut it before you get through all the holes so we don't actually get more holes than we need? Then, wait, give me a sec. Okay, so I would just cut it probably right around here. I don't think. Oh, we have some right here. Might just be a little bit. Oh, no, we don't have some. Because, of course, it decides to stop. <laughs> I wanted to be last. <laughs> I wanted to be last. You're so bad. Come here, London. Oh, shoot, yeah. London's not been here yet. Guys, huh? come back. Guys, come back. Everybody but London has come. <laughs> so London always London quits like halfway through. Coming back from a rousing game of sardines with the guy who found me first, Colton. I made this noise. Oh, that's excellent. Yes. Good morning on Thursday here at Fox Femi Farm for our farm camp. And I'm preparing the cans. I had to drill holes in them this morning as campers are coming in. And today's pro project will be 
the painting in the behind me here. So we're getting ready for another good day here. And the cans here look like these. And we're working on these with handles today for everybody. So we'll get going on these, get them ready for before I have to start outside. Pretty wet from the heavy rain last night. We have to get hay out from the hay tent so the kids can feed the animals. We got the hay out, the cows out, the sheep out. Everybody's eating and happy. The kids are back to playing again. Just before we go out to the field and Horses are here having breakfast. Good start to the day on Thursday at farm camp. We're headed down for another match of Capture the Pig. Are you guys ready? Yeah? yeah. Who's gonna win? Red um, or blue? Blue. Whatever Red. team you're on? Red. I'm on blue today, so I'm gonna play blue. Good, I hope Patrick is too. Yeah. Lines are drawn and we are about to start. The excitement is building. Who's ready to play? Anybody? What? Is Blue going to win today? Yeah. It's our turn, right? Yeah. It's our turn to win. It's been red all week, so it's time for Blue, right? Back in jail again. There's four of us here ready to get tagged out. This is the video I make for farm camp. So you can see it at the end of the week. So tell me how the tell me how this tournament goes, guys. Who are the teams? There you go. Hit it now. We have a foosball tournament going on. Guys, the table doesn't matter how it is. Too intense to talk to me right now. <laughs> oh! That was a nice shot. Three, two, one, go! Get it, line up the ball. Go. Hit that. Oh, I didn't even. Oh, that was close. We are enjoying a much more pleasant day today with lower humidity and just nice feeling air. This is lunchtime here at Fox Farm Camp on Thursday, closing out on tomorrow. Why does she have two legs? Just be careful with the um, brush that I don't want to lose. And if you don't want to do legs, just say he's lying down. Okay, I'm he's lying down on every Saturday night. Now you need a brush to do their head. I have, I added little gloves. Where's their locks on it? I got the L on the end of the shirt. I got it. Nice. Where are you going to go? Can I try to go over the studio a little? Yeah. Come on. Sweet. Live rock. Mason and Eli, choose your partner. Wait, 
These are the books that we went over today in our talk about imagination and how I fueled it in my life. And see the ones I talked about. So if the kids are interested to hear some of the ones we did and looked at. started for me with Buster Bear and the Thornton Burgess series of stories about all the animal adventures in that land there. Of course, Kidnapped was pretty good. Lots of these were wonderful. And that's the book that I have of stories in my life. So all of these are what we've been showing them today in our talk today. Well, good morning again from Fox Family Farm. This is Bill on Friday, the last day of our camp this year this season, so we're ready to get going. Kids are coming in, animals getting fed again, off to a good start for the final day of this week. And we'll get out and play the final round of Capture the Pig. Everybody loves that game, part of our culture here at the fam farm. And so to stay tuned for some good visuals of the fun we're gonna have today to finish it all off. Thanks again, everybody. Groups for feeding happening. Are you sitting in the shade, Lily? Yeah. 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 Oh, look. Look, it's a shade tree. Oh, my goodness. All right. You guys ready? I need it. Yeah, we're not going really far. I waited for a car to go by. I waited for a car to go by. I waited for a car to go by. So, Mr. Fox, you should take the picture. Well, that's it. It's a wrap on week three of Fox Farm Camp for this summer and for the whole summer, a season of farm camps here at Fox Farm. So it's been a great season, almost 100 kids this summer. Lots of fun, laughter, playing, and very sore legs. <laughs> and we had a great time together. So thank you everybody for coming and for a great season and hope you enjoy these videos. If you'd like to see more of our farm in the days ahead, please subscribe and everybody take care.